All right, today we're gonna to be doing a video on using dry hole feed corn as an alternative solid fuel for the coal forge. This is the material I'm talking about. You find it in any feed store. Locally, I can get this for about 650 uh, US dollars for a 50 pound sack. Um, dry hole feed corn burns very nicely in the coal forge. A uh, couple, it burns Fire management is very similar to bituminous coal, and it cokes up, and it's coke that burns, not the corn. This is an example of coked corn. Coked corn. Uh, normally, you can start the fire using that, but today I'm going to start it using just plain old lump charcoal. So we'll get the fire going. Uh, talked about this forge in another video a little bit. I currently have it set up for. Uh, a lot of airflow corn does take a lot of airflow to keep burning so let's go ahead and get this thing lit just a few lumps of lump charcoal I'm gonna turn on the air it's gonna be loud With dry hole feed corn, you do have to be careful and keep it in tin cans to keep the vermin out of it, my scrap whatsoever. Um, not had any problems in this shop, but why make trouble? So I'm gonna load the forge up with corn, just like you would for coal. That's about 12 pounds of corn. The nice thing about corn is it makes an impressive flame. I think it'd be great for demos if I were ever to do any demos. So we're starting this running this in real time so you can get an idea how long it takes to get a decent fire going. Corn will burn out from the bottom faster than, now let me say that over again. When corn coats up, it's very stable. It will form a lid to the firebox and whatever coat is in the burn nest will burn out before the rest of it falls into the nest. So it's fiddling kind of fire. You have to constantly be poking the new coat down into it.
unfortunately this uh, tripod is definitely a um, photo tripod and not a video tripod. It's very shaky and everything, so yeah. You can see from the sparks, that's mainly the charcoal burning off. But we're getting there. is a corn fire now. And you can see we've got some good color going there. Small stock that I'm working with. Corn's very good for these small jobs. Uh, anything more than three quarter of an inch you probably need to start getting back to coal. Also forge welding. There are mixed stories out there about whether corn can be used for forge welding. I have not personally tried it. Some people say yes, some people say no. I think the key though is forming a large enough cave over it to insulate the fire to trap the heat inside. So I'm going to get some forge work done and then I'll show you how to knock apart a corn fire. Okay, we've come to the end of our forge session and we're ready to allow the fire to burn out. So I'm shutting the air off to it. Let it cool down a little bit. While it's cooling, I did want to mention the fact that a lot of people seem to think a corn fire is going to stink the same way burned popcorn stinks. It does not. To me, a corn fire smells more like grilled corn on the cob. So I think it's very neighborhood friendly. Personally, I don't have to worry about it. I live out in the country. My nearest neighbor is about a mile away. But for those of you that are in the cities, rural areas, uh, I think corn fire is a very good choice. So now that it's burned down, I can start kicking it apart. There's some good coke in there for the next time to start it with. Another thing about corn is, at least this particular corn that I'm using, it doesn't develop a whole lot of clinker. So there is possibly a clinker. And I really don't see a whole lot in there. There's possibly another clinker. 
and maybe two more. So out of that 14, 12 to 14 pounds of corn, those are the clinkers that I've gotten out of it. This was a short forging session, probably not more than an hour. That also gives you an idea of burn time. Corn does burn a little faster than coal. It burns about the same rate as charcoal. Uh, it's much cheaper than charcoal, unless you're making your own. And personally, I don't have the time to make my own. So I just use charcoal as a start. A couple of lumps to get it started if I don't have enough coke from the last fire. As you can see, this is just about all the way burned out in practically no time at all. We'll let all the open flames die out before we do anything else. When I am done and it is basically cold, I will put all the unburned corn and the coke in one of these uh, popcorn tins. That way it keeps the mice out of it. That's all for now from the Backyard Forge.